，这个是比较著名的大学，那个是在马来西亚的外国分校，这个是从莱佛西亚走向英国和美国的路径。那么家长们和学生都有一个疑问：我的英语不到位，我可以出国念国念国际学校吗？基本上呢，英语能力是出国念书的重要因素之一。那么我们在这里呢，我们准备了一个叫做 I G C C 准备课程，学生在这里上一到三个学期，就是说八个啊啊八个月到十二个月的英语课程，之后呢就参加一年的密集 I G C 密集课程。就啊，通过了 IGCC 密集课程之后呢，学生就可以选择读 A level 或者做大学医科。好，谢谢。大家有什么可以开始提问？谢谢。嗯，呃、大家如果有问题的话，可以直接留言到那个群里面，或者在我们的那个呃聊天室里面。我们我们就是讲解的过程中呢，如果有问题就可以直接问，然后。呃，我们集中到最后回答一下。那个，我们这次直播节目之后呢，呃，也是具体有什么详细问题，可以直接跟我们王老师联系，因为我们王老师呃招生的经验有很多年，就是各种问题我们可以直接跟王老师联系就可以了。谢谢，或者呃有些问题可以跟我先联系。嗯 ，OK， 王老师，我觉得呃那个。我们的那个升学的途径，可能要跟大家详细讲解一下，因为那个升升学的那个途径，呃，是我们大家最关心的，就是怎么样可以留学到那个英国的名校，还有美国的名校。因为我们说，我们我们可以呃，到英国的排名前三十位的，美国的排名前五十位的，这么多啊好学校，我们是怎么样，就是那个英语的基础不是很好的情况下，也能进到这么好的学校。包括我们马来西亚著名的这些大学，我们怎么样？就是通过就是短短的，比如说两两年或者三年的时间，我们就可以进到呃读大学、嗯。可能这个是我们大家最关心的一个重点。哦，那我就从这个表来再再详细说明。但是如果关于美国和英国的名校的入学呢，待会儿那 Miss Jane。King's Education 的负责人会给大家更详细的讲解。那我先从这个学生，如果您的孩子今年完成了中考，想到英国、美国留学，马来西亚是一个很好的跳板。我们的学校呢，特别针对中考以后的学生呢，做了一个特别的课程，叫做 IGCC 密集课程，快速通道，让他们能够顺利的啊衔接到外国的大学。那么学生在中考以后呢，先到我的学校来参加这个 IGCSE 准备课程。IGCSE 准备课程，他在这里上一到三个学期。如果学生的英语能力强的，他就可以上一个学期；如果英语程度一般的，我们是建议他上三个学期。那就差不多是等于一年的课程。九月来到明年的七月，他就完成了这个英语证课程。这个英语课程是针对性的。就是专门为他这个参加 I G C 课程而准备的。那么学生完成了 I G C 准备课程之后，他就可以参加本来是两年的 I G C C 课程，我们在浓缩作为一个一年的密集课程。学生在这一年里面呢，我们主打六科这个考试科。那么学生在参加 I G C 密集课程一年以后，他获得了这个 I G C C 的资格。学术资格，他就可以参加这个 A level 或者个 King's 大学医科，或者马来西亚大学的医科。就是说，学生在完成 I G C S E 之后，他有三个选择：一个是参加 A level， 那么可以在我的学校上课，一般上是两年；那么他也可以选择一年的大学医科。大学医科呢，可以有两个选择：一个是留在马来西亚读。一个是到英国的 King's 直接读，英国是英国 King's Education 的大学医科呢，会为学生到英国排名前三十的名校，或者美国排名前一百的名校做好升学的准备。那么它的不同点就是说，英国 King's 啊是一个历史悠久的这个机构，已经超过六十年的教学经验。
那我已经有几个学生通过他们啊，成功深入中了英国的名校。接下来比较详细的英国名校和英呃美国名校的入学呢，我就让 James 来给大家讲解。好的，谢谢谢谢王老师。So, Miss Jane, so can you please uh, share your screen now? <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, hang on. Oh, could you make me the host? Uh, not sure if you can directly uh, share your screen. Um, I can't at the moment. Okay, so I make you a host. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, brilliant. So. So, everybody, welcome uh, Miss Jane from uh, King <laughs> College. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, I don't speak Chinese, so I'm afraid I think Mr. Ong is going to help with some translation throughout this. But um, nice to uh, be with you all this morning and just to give you an introduction to Kings in the UK. Um, I'm going to play a quick video. A technical problem if you can bear with me a second uh, ah here we go okay so we'll just skip past that and back in here so i know mr ong has already explained about a levels and gcses so i won't spend long on here um, but this is what we focus on at king's either a levels or foundation programs um, one of the key things that King's does is help students raise their academic grades. So we can help students go from A grades to A star, from B grades to A, and from C grade to B. King's uh, 所做的一个努力呢，就是说，呃，提升学生的水平。如果这个学生入学的时候是 A 水平。那么 King 是保证他在这个毕业之前呢，可以提升到 A 星星。如果学生入学是 B， 他就提升到 A； 如果入学的时候是 C， 就提升到 B。这是 King 所提供的这个教学的保障。The way we do this is through things like、um, small classes. Very personalized teaching and learning, and so much support for each and every one of our students. King is through small classes and personal interaction to provide improvement in academic grades. I won't go through all of these, and I'm sure that we can share this presentation with you all afterwards. But we've just added in some quotes from some of the parents of our students, and I think this is important to show that we're not just an international college. You can see here this is one of our British students, and we have a growing number of students from the UK. So if your son or daughter came to study at King's, they would be studying with UK students as well. 呃，除了国际学生呢 ，King's 
college 本身呢也有英国本土的学生，所以呢外国学生到英呃进读书呢，还可以跟本土的英国学生在一起上课。Um, this gives you an idea of where our students get accepted. So into all of the top UK universities. So this is the top 20, and we've had students progress to every single one of these universities, including the very famous Cambridge and Oxford. Okay, in here there's just more examples of our students and I'm going to try and pull out some of our Chinese students here. So here's one of our students, English name Summer, who managed to gain entry to the University of Cambridge to study economics, which is just brilliant. Okay. Um, so these are just some of the ways that we help students get into these top universities. Um, we're very experienced at doing this. So for the last more than 60 years now, we've been helping students progress to top universities. So we know exactly how to help students gain entry to these top UK universities. 这是拥有六十年教学经验的 Kings 如何帮助学生完成他的进入名校的梦想。其中一个就是说，他会指导学生，呃，怎样选择适当的大学，要提供这个高水平的老师，确保小班教学。Okay. Um, these are just some of our accreditation. We don't need to spend time on that. And this just gives an overview of the courses that we offer. I know Mr. Ong has already explained about GCSE's A-Levels Foundation, but we do some specialized programs as well. And also our summer program. We've had students from Rafflesia before come to study summer programs with us, which is a great way for students to try Kings for maybe two weeks, three weeks, four weeks before deciding if they want to come and study with us full time. This table is showing the Kings Education provided by different courses. We mentioned the A level and the University of Cambridge. Besides this, this table. 这个 King 也提供各类的这个升学课程，其中包括跟 Eston u n i v e r s i t 呃大学合作的这个保录课程。Okay. Yeah. Again, more quotes from another UK student. Um, so talking about studying GCSEs with us. And you can see here a lot of Chinese names in here of students getting top grades for their A-levels and progressing to the top universities in the UK as well. We also offer a one-year A-level for really um, academically gifted students, so they can take their A-level in only one year. This this is the list of students who are from Okay. Again, more examples of some of our students, just to give you an idea of where they go. Um, more in here, students progressing into medicine as well. So we can help students get into those really competitive degrees. If the students have interest in science, they can also use this course to get them into science. Okay. Um, We've had students progress from our foundation program to London School of Economics. Um, and this talks about this student, Hannah from Belgium, who got into LSE from the foundation program, which is an amazing achievement because LSE usually require A-levels, but our foundation is very, very strong, so can get students into these top universities. This student Okay. Um, we also have a partnership with the University of Bristol with guaranteed progression from our foundation program into the University of Bristol. Kings and Bristol University 
有一个保录课程，就是在 Kings 完成这个大学医科的学生，只要成绩达标，就可以直接进入这个 Bristol 大学。Okay. And then, just to finish, um, I just thought I'd give you a bit of information about our four colleges. So we have King's Bournemouth, which is our oldest college, opened in 1957. Uh, Kings and this just shows you some pictures of Bournemouth, of the actual college and the accommodation that we offer. You can see the inside of the college here, but I won't think on that. Um, on to King's Brighton. King's Brighton is our newest college, which opened in 2017 and has become one of our preferred colleges by our students because the bottom two floors of this building are where we teach, where our administration is, and the accommodation is upstairs. So it's really convenient for students who really like being able to live and study in the same building. King's Brighton is the King's Education Building Council. 现在是其中一个最受欢迎的校区，因为呢，最高两层是它的宿舍，下面一两层是它的教学楼，所以是非常方便和安全。Okay, again, pictures of beautiful Brighton on the coast, only about forty-five minutes from London, so really easy to get into our capital, but you can live somewhere much quieter, more peaceful, um, with a beautiful beach. 这是 Brighton 校区周围的学校设备的照片。Brighton 离开伦敦只需四十五分钟的车程。Okay, again, I'm not going to go through all of the videos. We've got Kings London here, um, so we have a college in our capital as well. Not in the sort of central business district. We're in a suburb of London called Beckenham, which is about twenty minutes. From central London, but is a beautiful, very safe suburb of London. So you get the benefits of the capital, but living somewhere with lots of open space, lots of parks, very, very safe part of London. Kings in London, itself, also has a city called Kings London. This Kings London is not in the center; it is in the center of the city, about 20 minutes away. And again, just a few pictures. You'll probably notice that the inside of all of our colleges looks very much the same. So whichever location a student chooses, we want them to feel like they are part of the King's family. This is King's London school. Okay. Um, and then King's Oxford, the last one. Oxford, obviously very, very famous for Oxford University. And I would say King's Oxford is probably the most popular choice for our A-level students um, and our students who are aiming to progress to either the University of Oxford or the University of Cambridge. King's Oxford. Okay, and then finally, just a few bits of information about our accommodation. Any student that comes to study with us from overseas, we have a range of accommodation options for them. These are some examples of our residences that are available and we have either catered or self-catering. So there's a whole range of choices for students to um, pick from. Kings every And we also offer Homestay. So if you'd be happier for your son or daughter to be living with a British family and having that experience of um, British family life, then we offer homestay accommodation in all of our locations as well. Without school, the students also provide 
，就是说中国学生可以选择跟英国的家庭一起住。Okay, and that sort of brings us to the end. So, just to sort of give an overview, I'd say that、um, we focus on helping students get to the very top UK universities, but we also focus on making sure all of our students are happy. Be safe, well looked after, with very strong student communities in all of our colleges. And we've worked with Rafaelisia for many years now,、um, and we are always very happy when students progress to us from their courses. 刚才给大家讲解的是 King's College 在英国的升学的情况。那么 King 除了在学术上之外，他也是注重学生的这个生活，确保他们开心的上学。Okay, so thank you. That's everything, I guess. Now,、um, any questions? Do you have any questions? If you have any questions, you can ask the question about the situation in the UK for students. Donald, you're on mute. We can see from the chat. Okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Miss Jane. So I think、uh, your、uh, explanation is so clear. Everybody now knows, you know, very well. <laughs> no questions. Everybody's an expert now. Perfect. Uh. So I think maybe. Uh, some people are not familiar with the、uh, you know international curricular, like、uh, the IGCSE or A level. So、uh, why is it important to take this、uh, certificate before entering a university like in UK or US? And maybe one question from many of my friends: they ask、uh, if、uh, they get.、Uh, The score, like A level,、mm -hmm. it's kind of British curricular.、Uh, well, other、uh, university, like in US or in Europe, will recognize this、uh, certificate. Okay, thank you. Maybe、uh, I, sorry, I translated a little bit. Okay, sure, no problem. <laughs> okay, um, 我现在请那个 Miss Jane 帮我们回答一下一个问题，就是我们很多家长问到的，就是关于。国际学校的课程，比如说 IGCSE 是我们高中课程是，呃，英国体系，我们叫剑桥 IGCSE。然后还有就是大学升学的时候有个，呃，预科班的叫 A Level 水准，这个课程，呃，另外这个课程在全球的认可度怎么样？我们 Miss Jim 帮我们回答一下。呃、uh, ，OK， I think uh later。Um, uh, Mr. Ong, still help us to translate, <laughs> Mr. Ong. Okay. <laughs> sure. Thank you, Mr. Ong. Okay. The first part of your question about、um, international curriculum and why it's important to study、um, GCSEs and A levels. I would say it's because if you're aiming for the top. UK universities. Then, the sooner you can start the UK curriculum, the better, because you start learning the same as UK students are learning. You start becoming more confident with your English language. You start understanding、um, the style of UK teaching, which is very different to Asia. So, if you can start with your GCSEs, it gives you a really solid base to then. Move on to your foundation or your A levels, and gives you a much better opportunity of getting into the top UK universities. Uh, in England's education system, IGCSE is a primary school education, A level is a secondary education. So, to get in. 在英国的体系下呢，要进入著名的大学呢，基本上 A level 是一个重要的，呃，考试资格，就相当于中国的高考。在中国，高考之后呢，学生就可以上大学。那么在英国的体系呢，是 A level 之后就上大学。
那么要进入 A level， 那基本上是需要先有个 IGCSE 的资格。这个 IGCSE 资格呢，是中相当于中国的高二。中国的高二的时候呢，学生就参加了一个课啊，剑桥的考试叫做 IGCSE。那么 James 的建议是，学生呢越早啊参加这个高中课程呢是越有利，因为可以加强他们的英语和各个方面的基础。Okay, Jim. Thank you, Mr. Ong. And the second part of your question, Donald, about if students take their A levels, can they then apply to universities in other countries as well, the US and Europe? And the answer is yes. So A levels are internationally recognised. So if you take your A levels, you can apply to university anywhere in the world. Um, and as long as you've got good grades, you will be able to get accepted. Yes. 有关于 A level 的这个收成的认可度，就是说，如果学生参加了英国的 A level， 他是不是可以用 A level 这个学术资格到英国、澳大利亚、纽西兰、马新加坡等等国家升学呢？答案是是的，可以。只要是学生的成绩达标，他就可以用 A level 到全世界的各国的大学去升学。主要是只要他的成绩。达标就可以升学了。Yes, Jin. I'm I'm done, Jin. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Uh, thank you, Miss Jin. I I just uh, receive a new question. Uh, one parent asked uh, how they uh choose uh, between uh because uh uh Ramphasia and uh, uh King College uh, both provide uh, A level. So how do they uh, choose between uh, Rafasia and uh, uh, King College uh, for okay. the level? Sure. Um, do you need to translate that question or not? Uh, yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for your remind. So, there is a parent who asks, when they go to A level, because we are from Rafasia International School, which is also a famous international school in Malaysia. We also provide 呃、uh, ，A 水准的这个课程，然后我们呃、uh, 英国的国王学院也提供 A 水准的课程，就是到时候到了，相当于我们高国内高中高二的时候，我们是选择在 F 线下继续读 A level， 还是去英国国王学院读 A level， 这两个之间如何选择，然后有什么特点 ？OK，Thank、okay. you。Thank you. Um, I would say you could do either, but I would say that the benefit of taking your A-levels at King's in the UK is that you are surrounded by English language and UK culture. So you have to speak English all of the time. You have to um, mix with many, many different nationalities of students, including English students. So it's just a slightly different environment. I think what works perfectly is maybe to go to Rafaleja first to do GCSEs um, and then move on to A-levels at King's in the UK. But I do think it's about the environment. It's about being completely immersed in UK culture and learning about UK culture, English language, all of these things to give you an increased opportunity of getting into the top universities. Uh, 在不管是在马来西亚还是在英国读 A level， 他的课程都是一样的，受认可度都是一样的，因为大家所参加的考试都是统一的。不同的是，如果是选择到英国 King's Education 读书呢，在语言方面的环境，它就一个语境，就是说学生在英国周围都是讲英语的，而且他有机会跟英英国本土的学生。而来自世界各地的学生一起上学，所以他的英语的这个呃学习环境会比更加这个丰富，所以就这方面呢，就可能会给他在这个英语的提升方面呢带来很大的帮助。那么建议是建议，如果学生中考以后呢，是先到马来西亚来复试学学校，先读一年的这个准备课程。
，在读一一年的这个 I G C 密集课程，两年以后，英语的水准达到了一个标准之后，再到英国 Kings 读 A level。Done, James. Thank you, Mr. Ong. Thank you,、uh, Miss Jane. I I just saw a question in English. Can you see that? Hang on, let me look at the chat. Let's have a look. In the Zoom uh, group. Ah, okay.、Mm -hmm. So senior one, how? Senior sorry, one, like uh, uh, age fifteen. Uh, fifteen. Okay.、Yeah. So at age fifteen, you would be looking at doing probably a one-year GCSE course first,、um, because in the UK education system, we take our GCSEs when we are sixteen years old, and then progressing on to your A levels afterwards. Sometimes students can jump ahead. It really depends on your academic background, how you're doing. I'm guessing level of English very good because you wrote your question in English.、Um, but yeah, from what I understand, you would be doing a one-year GCSE program first, and then moving on to A levels or foundation program.、Mm -hmm. uh, so, Miss J, maybe one question from me.、Mm -hmm. uh, Is the IGC, IGCSE is the、uh, requirement? Is a mandatory requirement for entering、uh, King College? Generally,、um, I mean it varies depending on where a student comes from, their academic background. GCSEs are usually required because when you're looking at university entry requirements, they will expect A levels or foundation, but they will also look. Back at what students studied before then, and they normally have a requirement of at least having GCSEs in English and mathematics. So GCSEs are the best starting point for sure. Sometimes we have students who have studied in their home country for longer. So I'm based here in Thailand. If a student had done up to We call it Matayong、uh, Six in Thailand, which is equivalent to GCSEs. Then they <clears throat> they could come straight into A level or foundation. But I would say GCSE is the best preparation for coming to Kings. Okay, thank you, Miss Jane.、Um, okay, maybe I translate directly. So <laughs> don't. <laughs> okay. 嗯，刚才我问呃 Miss Jane 一个问题，就是去英国上。大学预科的话，是不是一定要，呃，先读完这个叫 IGCSE 的课程？其实这个 IGCSE 是，呃，国际学校的一个高中课程。呃 ，Miss Jane 回答呢，就是说，呃，我们建议就是来英国读，呃，大学预科 A Level 的之前呢，最好是先有这个 IGCSE 的一个，呃，一个基础，再过来这样的话，因为这个 IGCSE 呢是全球大学也会，呃。比较认可的一个中学课程，所以大学在入学的时候呢，他不仅是只看这个大学预科的成绩，他也会呃要求这个看一下这个高中 IGCSE 的成绩，所以呃如果这两个成绩都有的话呢，就对大学的录取就更有利，所以呃而且这个课程本身呢，也是对进入大学的呃课程的一个很好的准备。所以，呃 ，Miss Jin 就是建议大家是在，呃，比如说在我们来福士亚先读完 IGCSE 课程之后再过来。OK， 呃<笑> ，Miss Ong， Mr. Ong is my translation OK？ <笑> very, very good <笑>。OK， you you can， 呃，你你也可以帮我解释一下。呃，如果还有如果还有更多细节的话 ，OK。嗯，我看还有我们还有朋友有问题吗？现在现在我们还有朋友在加入我们的会议。大家如果还有问题，可以继续问。我们的会呃是呃总共一个小时，我们就是现在这个时间呢，就是一个问答的阶段。我们是到十一点半结束。还有大概十十几分钟，如果有问题的话，就可以发到我们的那个这个聊天室里面。就关于呃这个来福士亚的一个英语，其实我我可以再总结一下。其实我对于我的理解来说，嗯、呃，就是
两个提升，一个是呢，呃，从国内呃到国外的一个英语方面的提升，呃，因为直接去欧美的话，我我想这个最大的一个难点就是英语的那个语言语言障碍的问题，因为我们知道，如果语言能力不够好的话呢，你直接去国外读书，呃，你刚开始又学课程的同时又学。语言其实难度也很大，另外你会错过很多很有用的课程，所以这个呃做一个基础的铺垫是非常好的一个路径。所以呃刚开始第一步呢就是一个英语的提升，呃这个提升呢是到我们所谓呃最世界最好的国际跳板，我们马来西亚就是是最有名的世界跳板国际跳板，在这边呢有一个多元化还有语言氛围的一个环境可以。提升我们的英语能力。我们那个来福士亚提供的是，呃，呃，三到三到呃一年吧，是吧？三个月到一年的这个英语课程，呃，为了我们这个高中的 I G C C E 的这个呃课程做一个铺垫。嗯、然后呃，在来福士亚这边呢，我们会把那个 I G C C E 是两年的课程压缩到了一年。那说到一年之后呢，就会进入到国王学院呢做一个铺垫。然后我们说的第二个提升呢，就是，呃，进入大学呢，实际上比较牛的大学，我们说世界有名的大学。So Miss Jane, I explain maybe I summarize the main points. <laughs> so, so, uh, bear with me. I speak all in Chinese. <laughs> okay, thank you. 呃，第二个提升呢，就是我们到国王学院，到英国国王学院去提高我们的那个成绩，因为我们知道，其实国外大学呢，它的本科是很多是三年的，但是其中有，呃，之前呢，有一年呢是叫大学预科，我们可以在学院里面上这个大学预科，拿到很好的成绩去申请那些世界有名的大学，所以我们呃说第二个提升呢，就是呃把那个成绩。你要你要进世界名校，你一定要成绩好，你不能光光是说我付学费就可以了。所以那个学学校呢，实际上像呃我们说英国有名的牛津、剑桥啊这些，呃他们是要看成绩的。所以我们第二个提升就是到英国呃国王学院，因为我们国王学院本身在你呃在那个世界名校旁边都有开的这个学院，所以呃在牛津大学，你看我们背景就是牛津大学，我们在牛津大学也有我们的那个教学。一点就是在这个地方，呃，提升我们的成绩，拿到那个 A level 的一个很好的成绩，然后就去申请这些大学，会成功率非常高。我们可以说是可以保可以保证英国的百分呃英国的前三十名，美国的前一百名的大学。OK， 呃、uh, ，So I think we have some question now. <笑> um, so one question, uh, from our friends, um. The how 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 is the tuition fee? Uh, if if uh, the children the the first question is how is the tuition fee for, uh, I think for both for uh Rafsi and uh, King College, and the second question is uh, uh, after we say a middle school maybe junior middle school we say in Chinese, um. Do the children need a, a companion? Do the children need a parent's companion? Okay, two questions. <clears throat> um, okay, firstly on tuition fee, um, I can certainly say for Kings and then maybe I'll pass over to Mr. Ong for Rapalesia. Um, for Kings for foundation program, you're looking at 21,780 pounds and I don't know the exchange rate at the moment but um, yeah 21,780 pounds for the foundation program for A levels it's 27,180 pounds per year so foundation is just one year A levels is between one and a half and two years um, we do have some scholarships available so we try to um, reward gifted students if we can students who are doing well academically we do have a scholarship fund so students are welcome to apply for that but those would be our standard tuition fees. Uh, Jane是告诉大家 在英国Kings读 A-level 是两年 每一年的学费是两万七千左右英镑 
。如果学生是选择读大学医科，大学医科的学费一年是两万一千七百八十英镑，这个是在英国读 A level foundation 的费用。要如果是在马来西亚，来不下学校读 IGCSE 呢？第一年的英语准备课程呢，学费是一年是三万八马币，三万八千八百八十。那如果是选择第二年这个快速课程，就是 i g c c 的密集课程呢，一年的学费是马币七万五千。那我们学校呢和英国 Kings 都有准备学生的宿舍。所以呢，学生初中的学生，如果说有独立能力呢，是可以不需要陪读，可以让他住在宿舍。但您 ，OK， thank you。呃，说到说到费用，呃，我们是这个直播节目呢，我们是给大家来带来优惠的。如果这次从我们直播节目报名的学生呢，我们。呃，跟埃弗斯亚国际学校已经确认过了，可以免那个学杂费，学杂费是四千五百马币，所以也是很大一个金额、嗯。就是通过我们这次活动报名的话，我们可以免这个学杂费、嗯。包括我们国际学校其他的课程呢，也有一些相关的优惠。这个这个具体的话，可以直接跟我们王老师联系，因为我们现在学校就是通过我们这个一马海外教育的话。我们会给大家带来这个不断带来各各种各样的优惠，所以就请大家持续关注我们的这个直播节目。嗯、OK， so I don't see any more questions, <laughs> Miss Jane. Okay. Well, obviously, if people have questions later, I know that they can obviously contact you, and obviously, you guys can get in touch with me if there's any specific questions people have after this session.、Mm -hmm. um, so,、uh, one question maybe uh, uh, come to my mind is uh, Miss Miss Jane.、Uh, except the、uh, tuition fee,、uh, how how much money the 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 family should prepare, like、uh, living or you know spending. Sure. Okay. So、Perfect. usually, have you a、uh, budget for them? <laughs> It's a very good question. It really depends on individual families because. Obviously, there's a wide range of how much you can spend. Maybe the lowest cost would probably be if a student went to our centre in Bournemouth. The cost of living in Bournemouth is lower. Than places like London and Oxford and Brighton. If a student came to Bournemouth and they lived with a host family, then one year their accommodation would only be around six thousand、um, pounds. And then, obviously, spending costs on top of that depends how much mum and dad want to give to their children, really, and how much they want them to spend. But that would be the lowest kind of living cost. I would say. Lowest cost per month for a student in the UK, probably looking at about、uh, for a nine-month academic year, maybe about eight hundred pounds per month would cover absolutely everything: your accommodation, your meals, your、um, spending money. But some families spend far more than that. So if a student came to either our centre in Oxford or London, where the cost of living is much higher, oh, you can go up to kind of two thousand pounds per month. So it's a big difference, anywhere between about seven, eight hundred pounds per month, all the way up to kind of two thousand pounds per month, depending on location and depending how much money parents want to give to their children to spend. Okay, thank you, Miss Jane. 刚才我问 Miss Jane， 我说，呃，除了学费以外呢？去英国呃上国王学院的话，大概生活费用是怎么样的？呃 ，Miss Jean 就是回答我们说那个呃不同的地点呢会有很大的差别，比如说在伦敦或者牛津也有我们的分校，那我们的那个这个地方的这个费用就会相对说比较高。然后我们在另外呃 Brighton 呃 so 呃 
Miss Chen, except uh, Oxford, London, Brighton, uh, what's the name of the? Bournemouth. Bournemouth. Yeah, I know not quite so famous, but it's becoming, um, it's sort of becoming the next Brighton. There's lots of investment going into Bournemouth. And I actually oh. know there's lots of Chinese investment coming into Bournemouth. Lots of people from China have spotted that Bournemouth is a great place to invest in property and things wow. like that. So that it's may, a growing place. I, I may visit there in the maybe people. you should, <laughs> yeah. Maybe people should do we, some We have a real estate uh, uh, portion here. Sorry? The we also in our company we, we our company is the ymg ah okay uh, so we also um covers property investment property. well so, there's my tip for you. Bournemouth. Bournemouth, or Bournemouth. uh which part of england in it's part? in the south so you've oh. kind of got london in the southeast and mm -hmm. then if you move west along the coastline, you mm -hmm. go to Brighton first, and then a bit further along is Bournemouth. It's got a beautiful beach, very famous oh. for its beach, but it's a lovely city. But the cost of living is much lower at the moment. Wow, uh, that's a nice place. <laughs> that would be a nice place. Okay, uh, London, Brighton, Bournemouth. 呃,那个地方呢是一个相当于一个开发区的地方,风景又很好,在英国,在那个英格兰的南部, so it's on the coast? Yes, yeah, it's got a beautiful... 也是在海边,然后这个地方其实它的费用会比较低, 就刚才说的是,如果是以前那些比较大的城市呢, 或者那个人口密度比较高的地方呢, 它的费用会比较高在英国, 然后我们说刚才说那个Bowmouth那个地方呢, 费用会比较低, 费用刚才说如果是比较不会太大花钱的话一个月大概八百英镑就可以了八百英镑的话我们算下来六千六千块钱吧人民币包括住宿吃饭如果是一年的话呢就可以算八千吧八千英镑八千英镑应该就够这个
国王学院，呃呃，我们呃来福士亚国际学校，呃，我们会持续不断的带给大家更多的好的教育资源。谢谢大家参加我们的一马海外教育直播。So thank you, thank you, Miss Jean. <laughs> Thank you, Donald, and thank you, Mr. Ong. It's been really nice to be able to talk to people today. So thank you very much for organising this. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Wang 老师。谢谢王老师。谢谢谢谢谢谢大家，谢谢大家参与我们的节目。谢谢。那我们的直播节目就到此结束了。谢谢。嗯。哎，拜拜。拜拜。Have a nice day. Bye bye.